How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build video where we go over this 2020 Ford Interceptor Utility for the Hackensack Police Department. So taking a look at this 2020 Ford Intercept Utility for the Hackensack Police Department. We've repurposed some of their existing equipment and then purchased some new equipment to help work within the constraints of their budget. Uh, most of the equipment they had was already sound off signal equipment, so it was very easy for us to reintegrate it into the new control system that they've been using, which is the Blueprint system. Um, so the Blueprint system was then added on to the uh, OBD2 reader so we can get all the vehicle controls through the OBD2 reader without having to splice into the vehicle's harness. And then we also added the sync module. So a past couple of their vehicles like the Charger has the sync module so their flash patterns on a scene will sync up and help reduce distraction with drivers and then also able help them um, have a better scene presence. So taking a look up top, 40-inch Enforce in dual color. So it's got white flood to the front and white flood to the left and the right. In the front bumper, we have the Weston push bumper with two sound off signal Enforces in the front with the white override. And then we have Enforces on the left and right hand side with the white override feature. On the top, we've mounted the sound off 100N speakers. Uh, they have dual tone capabilities. Uh, we have the Ford factory fog light option in red and blue. And then what we've done is we've been able to tie this into the blueprint system to give them the vehicle sync function. Under the mirror, we have the sound off signal intersector in dual color with the sound off signal under mirror bracket to help keep a low profile install. On both the driver and passenger side, um, we've done the door cut function on the door. So it cuts out the corner module when the officer gets out or the passenger. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've installed sound of signal hideaway LEDs. So we have a red and a white in each tail light. Um, and then we have three inch sound off signal M powers in blue on the rear tailgate. One thing that you notice with the back is what we've done is when the hatch opens, it shuts off the rear modules so they're not shining up into the air. In the back, we've built an organizer for them that will house all their gear, so their road flares, um, throw ropes, anything else that they may carry. Uh, and then you can see the Weston rear partition. And then behind that, because this is permanently mounted for um, safety, they have a locking electronics compartment in the back. So that's where all their modem, uh, their DVR, the blueprint controller are all mounted back there and they're able to secure it. Prisoner containment area, we have Weston window guards, Weston door panels, and then we also have a Weston front partition and prisoner transport seat with the center out seat belt. So what this allows them to do is to uh, load a prisoner in. The seatbelt's already prepped for them and all they have to do is just click it into place here. So taking a look at the console, we have their supply docking station for their computer, computer mount that ties into the Hint console. Uh, this is specifically for the interceptor utility. And then we have our blueprint controller with our Motorola radio installed. We have the Hint armrest. One thing that you'll notice with the control panel is that they've always had the buttons program to turn on so they can turn them off if they so wish for certain functions. So with that being said, they can turn those off. So like they have the cruise come on in slide one, which they can shut off if they wish and then they have just the rear button and then they have the wigwags come on. You'll see that later in park. And then we have their weapon rack installed on the back that was supplied. Camera system with the camera screen, the camera, and then their belt mic all in a convenient location for the officer. So what we've done now is we've put the car into uh, its drive response mode. You can see that we've added some white to the light bar and changed the flash pattern and we've activated the headlight flasher. White tends to be a little bit more distracting for people at night. So what we do is we kill that automatically in park and then we also kill the siren so that if they're pulling up on a call and the siren's active, that's one less thing for them to have to worry about. Thanks for checking out our video today. If you like it, please comment, subscribe, ask us questions. We're here to answer any questions you may have. Give us a call. We'd love to help you build your next vehicle.